How's it going everybody? I'm back here at Hobbytown USA, Concord, California. And today we're looking at the new Traxxas TRX4 crawler. Well, here it is guys. This is the Traxxas TRX4 Land Rover Defender crawler. Now I know some of you guys are fans of Traxxas and some of you guys are not. I think that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course. But I think no matter which side of the fence you fall on, you would have to say that they have gone all out with this crawler. They have not just put out another run of the mill rock crawler with one speed, one job. This thing has a ton of features on it. We'll talk about those and then we will take it out and run it on the trail and run it on the rocks. So let's go ahead and get to it. So this is the Land Rover Defender body with a lot of details on it. As you can see, a lot of molded parts. You have the snorkel, side mirrors, roll cage, roof rack. In the back you have the gas can, spare tire, jack, and these fenders are molded separate pieces, you can see there. They will have an LED kit and light buckets coming, so you'll be able to add lights very easily to it. My only complaint about this body is the windows are opaque. It'd be kind of cool if it had clear windows so you could add more scale detail inside. Other than that, very nice looking body. No, it does not come with a real working winch. That is a fake winch detail. It's just basically a sticker sitting on top of the bumper. This is the TQI radio that comes with the truck. It's got 30 model memory, 2.4 gigahertz of course, and you can see it's got some extra switches on it that you may not have seen before. This is your gearing switch, so low speed right here, high speed like that. Up here is your diff locking switch, so pulled back, diffs are open. Middle position front diff is locked. Forward position both diffs are locked. Then you've got the set button right here and you can use that to set cruise control. So this car actually has cruise control. Once you set it, you can adjust the speed with this dial, and then when you want to brake, you'll take it out of cruise control, just like on a real car. Steering trim, throttle trim, on-off switch on the bottom, that's the basics of the radio, guys. Let me just go over those driving modes real quick. You've got sport mode, which is forward, brake, and reverse. Race mode, forward and brake with no reverse. And then a good one right here is training mode, 50% forward, 50% reverse, 100% brake. So if you've got a nine-year-old that really wants to drive this truck, you're not too sure what's going to happen, put it in training mode so they can't get too crazy with it. Then you've got trail mode, forward, brake, and reverse with trail tune to drag brake and neutral. And crawl mode, forward, instant reverse, no neutral, 100% hill holding brake. Let's go over the chassis, guys, and everything you can clearly see from the top. You've got the Traxxas Titan 550 21-turn brushed motor, XL5 waterproof ESC. There's your mini servo for your low and high speed adjustment servos on this side for locking and unlocking the diffs. You've got your receiver in there, there's the antenna. Battery is mounted centrally and you can use a two cell or three cell LiPo with the truck so you can get that extra speed and high gear. And that's basically everything from the top. Let's check out the bottom. You've got a three link suspension in the front and a four link suspension in the back. Steering is with a 2075X Metal Gear servo. You can see you have metal side rails here and adjustable wheelbase so you can slide the wheels forward or back. That would give you the option of using different bodies. You do have some big bumpers up front and in the back. If you were to remove those, you might get a little bit more clearance with the crawler, depending on what body you want to put on, what kind of look you want to have with the crawler. One of the big features of this truck, of course, are the portal axles. And you can see how that axle is raised off the ground right there. And at the hub, there is a gear train which brings the drive shaft, the drive line back down to the wheel. So you get extra ground clearance with that and it also eliminates torque twist, so it does a couple of different things. And it looks pretty cool. We'll see how that does when we take it out running on the trail and on the rocks. Standard on the truck are 1.9 inch Canyon trail tires. And this little JST connector hanging out here, probably for the optional light kit. So you've got the standard body posts in the roof and on the hood. You also have these two posts on the rear bumper and it's easier to put those in place first and then lay the body down on top of the posts. And I'm going to use this 3-cell 5,000 milliamp pack for the driving today. Plug the truck in, turn it on right here. Here's your low-speed to high-speed transmission. Here are the diffs unlocked, front locked, both locked. I think we've had enough talk about this. Let's just go ahead and drive it. And we're in high gear right now.
This is cruise control. I'm not hitting the throttle, I just hit the set button and the truck is just driving. And if I brake, it comes out of it. And I can set it faster too. All right, guys, there it is. The Traxxas TRX4 Defender Crawler just came out. Chino might be a little upset because it is quite dirty now, but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Thank you to Hobbytown USA Conquer California for letting me take this out and give it a run. All right, let me just give you guys some quick thoughts on it after driving it just one time only. First of all, I really do like the low speed, high speed gearing on high speed. You can definitely have some fun with it on the dirt, on the gravel. You can almost drift it around and it's quite fun there. So then drop it into low gear, lock the diffs and go crawling. Definitely crawls quite well. The portal axles really help get over the rocks. The bumpers do get hung up here and there. It will high center. Probably the CG is a little bit on the high side with that heavy body, but it could get up some pretty steep hills and get over some pretty gnarly stuff in there. So pretty decent crawling performance and it looks great doing it. It's such a nice looking body, such a good scale crawler. So this of course is not a competition crawler. This is a scaler, which gives you low speed and high speed and the locking and unlocking diffs. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you're just getting into crawling and you want to pick out something to start with, it may not be the best choice. It's quite expensive, of course, but it does give you a lot of different options with different performance. It does have that cruise control, which, you know, it does work. It cruises around and you don't have to hit the throttle and then when you brake, it stops. I'm not sure what the use of that really is overall, but it's interesting and it does work. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to bring this back. Hopefully Chino's not going to be too mad because it is kind of dirty, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Any questions or comments, please post below and I'll see you next time. All right, so cruise control is useful for bringing it back to the car from the crawling area. I just have it in cruise control right now. And we're just walking along.